but it is what it is. I say this because I literally just got, get, got off a call with an unresponsive patient and the nurse had no clue what was going on. Hello, my name is Jeremy. I'm a paramedic and current nursing student and welcome to Real Truth. Like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos. We upload on Wednesdays and Sundays and let's get started. Home health nurses, I got a bone to pick with you. You really need to wake the fuck up. And I really apologize for cursing on this channel, but it is what it is. I say this because I literally just got, get, got off a call with an unresponsive patient and the nurse had no clue what was going on. So I come in, it was a regular call comes in a regular emergency call. So I'm like, hello, my name is Jeremy. I'm the paramedic on site. Uh, what's going on? He said, okay, come, please come this way. All right. I'm like, okay, cool. Are you the patient's nurse? The patient, the nurse says, yes, I'm the registered nurse. So I'm like, okay, so what's going on? Why am I here? So the male nurse tells, uh, brings me to the patient and shows right here, unresponsive. I'm like, how long has he been this way? How long has he been unresponsive? You said 15 minutes. 15 minutes, the wife gets over here and you're not doing the chest work. But I'm like, okay, now it's not the time for that. So I start uh, so I start the compressions. Actually, I delegated him to do the compression, so I got him to do the compression. Where I work, I'm the only medic on scene. So I get over there, I get him to do the compressions, I get the uh, my airway bag, I, bag, I put him on a non-rebreather to give me enough time to get the pads and put him on, hook him up to the heart monitor. Mind you, he said that this patient wasn't a DNR. While he's doing the compressions, I get a line. Then, fire rescue gets on scene, takes over the compressions. Then we find out that the patient is a DNR. My question is, as the registered nurse, why didn't he know he's, uh, he's not a full cold? So right now, this patient that it's not even supposed to have compressions. We've been doing it for a good amount of time span and if you would have known it, we would have been good. We wouldn't have had to basically do this. So the family member finds finds the paperwork that's necessary for it and then we, we call it. Well, the fire department, uh, the fire department calls it on scene. And here's my point. If you're a registered nurse and you take an assignment, you have to know this information. This is basic of the basics. Do my patient have a DNR? What's my patient's history? Didn't know any of this. Why are you here? You couldn't possibly be the RN, registered nurse, but he said he was the registered nurse. I would love to say that this is a one case thing, but this is not unheard of. And it's nurses like that that gives it a bad name and get, it has the whole argument between paramedics and nurses. It's just really irresponsible for the nurse, which is part of their job, to know the basic information, like the history, like if there's any allergies, if you're allowed to actually do CPR on them. And I, I look at it from both, both perspectives. It's one of the key things that they have to know. They have to know if they're cold. And I'm not even gonna go to the aspect of not even starting compressions. That, it could basically be like, okay, I wasn't prepared for emergency situation emergency situation but if you wasn't prepared for the consequences of it why did you take the assignment in the first place so my main point of this video is if you take an assignment know your patient's history know if they're full code or not because if you're doing home health and you need to extra set of hands and they are unresponsive you need to know the vital signs you need to basically know how uh, you need to at least start compression CPR there is no excuse for you being a healthcare professional and not starting CPR hell even a CNA even a CNA can basically start uh, start comp chest compressions and have the re relative just call 911 and they go there. That's it. That's all you have to basically do. And, and not to even know that, hey, this patient's a DNR? Come on, man. Like, that's, that's just ridiculous. So my advice to anybody that decides to do agency or home health, know if your patient's a DNR, know the history, so you don't become one of those incompetent, uh, incompetent nurses for when situations happen where we have to come in, we can get straight to the point, and then we can basically 
go from the next step because at this point it's no longer about the patient if they're dying it's about the relatives that's grieving that we have to focus on that's why we're there we got to figure out the arrangements of the funeral arrangements to make it a difficult situation less as least difficult for the relatives as possible and you are messing that up if you don't know that you need to uh, that you that that the patient's a dnr or a full, or a full cold that's just basically the basic information and you have to know this all right that's all i got tell me your opinions in the comment section below and see you in the next video